Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another wonderful episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We are here working on the main storyline and several various side quests um, in preparation of the release of Tears of the Kingdom on May 12th, which we will be streaming live on release day. So make sure you're following us here at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random so you can join us when we stream that live. Um, if you're watching this video later, after May 12th, make sure you check out Twitch for our updated streaming schedule, which will include um, the, the planned dates for Tears of the Kingdom. Other than that, make sure you hop over to our Facebook and Instagram pages and give us a follow over there so we can keep you updated and informed anytime there is a change to the streaming schedule, which there is quite frequently. Um, we also have a TikTok and a Twitter. If you're on those platforms and wish to follow us, that would be wonderful. And I believe that covers everything. I should be relatively well lighted. We've got some uh, some blue accent lighting going, but there's a splash over from the natural light out the window. No worries there. Um, so to recap, no, there's not enough time. I'll summarize. Uh, <laughs> that's that is a movie quote. If you can guess the movie quote, let me know in the chat or the comments, because um, it's a really good movie. Anyway. We, the past few days, or past few streams of uh, Legend of Zelda, we have um, attempted to get to the point where we can challenge Varudanya. That's going to be our first uh, Divine Beast that we fight, because when I did my first playthrough, I did uh, uh, Vanaboris, which was a bad idea. Um, it was difficult, especially for somebody who hadn't played much for Zelda games. So, oh, that's cool. I get booted out of the, uh, I know I saved inside of the, the club. That's really quite fascinating. So, um, so instead of doing Vana Boris again, um, I wanted to do some, something else. One of the other divine beasts, um, just for a little little different experience. And knowing what each of the the special powers does now kind of let me pick and choose. And um, so we were going through and we actually ended up Well we went we went by Zora's village, Zora's domain, and started there, but I didn't really I don't know, I didn't I wasn't I wasn't feeling like taking on Varuda first. Um, and we had some other exploring and leveling up and stuff to do. I say leveling up, but mostly getting hearts, because there's not a leveling system here. Strike that. There is a hidden leveling system, but we won't get into that. <laughs> um, so, as I kind of got to looking at it, we ended up over in the uh, uh, Death Mountain area by the Cor Gorons, because we were trying to work on the Terrytown quests, which we should go back and check on, actually. Um, and... Then one thing led to another, and we were up there unlocking the Varudanya fight. So that's the one we're going to do first. We have some amiibo to scan here. We'll do it a little bit later. And otherwise, we are good to go. We should have very little in the way of money, because we bought the uh, Radiant set. which is is fun. Um, I almost put those on, and that could be problematic, because that might instantly uh, alert the guards to the presence of not a female. Er, Sabota? Was that it? I can't tell. Apparently you really have to bite your lip to get the V sound out clearly. A little kid made fun of me yesterday for not being able to get the pronunciation right. I don't know why, but it sounds the same to me, no matter what I do. Savota. 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 
Um, I don't know what we're gonna do up here, but uh, I guess we're gonna go up here. Hi. Oh, it's Tracy. It's the the rumor mill lady. As what is it, ma'am? As you can see, I'm busy gathering information. Well, as you can see, I'm not a ma'am. But thank you. <laughs> information, ma'am. Don't tell me you don't know who I am. No way, you've never heard of the rumor mill either? I've heard of it. Phew, thank goodness. If you told me you'd never heard of Hyrule's most popular news publication, Rumor Mill, well, I don't even know how I'd have taken that news. It would have hurt, that's for sure. I'm Tracy herself, you know. That's a funny last name. Hey now, get that wishy-washy garbage out of here. Once more, with conviction. You what? Was she arguing with herself? <laughs> Truth is, I'm Tracy herself from Rumor Mill. Oh. <laughs> oh, I needed to respond. I don't know. I suppose that works. Anyway, I hope you enjoy reading Rumor Mill. I take pride in my work. Cool. Speak to the guard. Savota. There sure are a lot of Hylians coming by today. This is the home of the Chief of Gerudo. It is my duty to make sure that no one suspicious enters. Do not distract me from my job. Uh, can I go in? No. <laughs> We're busy. It's an emergency. Authorized personnel only. <laughs> That's what I would say if I had my way, but the Chief is a kind person. She's told me to allow visitors. If you want to go inside, be my guest. <laughs> but if you say even one rude thing to the Chief, huh? you and my spear will have a very personal conversation. That does appear to be quite the pointy spear. Hi. First set by Tracy, and now you. There sure are a lot of Hylians coming around today. Yeah, I'm Gerudo, though. No. <laughs> You're short. <laughs> your hair is the wrong color. <laughs> and I can't even see your abs. Ouch. <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous for you to claim that you're Gerudo. All evidence says otherwise. Yikes. Oh, actually, does the spear... Oh, it does. Look at this. This will be fun. Smile for the camera. You're going in the compendium. Look at that. That is a good picture. Very nice. Very nice. Hi. Savota. Chief may be young, but she's a kind person who puts her people first. She told me to allow visitors, though, through, even in these tough times. Hey, listen. Even though I'm letting you inside, that doesn't mean you can go getting in the chief's way. Watch out. Tough times? This is a Gerudo problem. It's none of your concern. Eh, okay. Boing. Aw, oh, I wanted to jump. Read you. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh. I have feet. Seems you have something rather interesting there. Well, thanks. I've been working on it a lot. Oh. You stand before Lady Riju. Re, re, Riju? Yeah. Chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Boliara. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there, what is your name? Oh. Link. And what is it you've come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can calm Nubwurus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you think you have what it takes to subdue something as so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could ever control them were the cha were champions like Lady Urbosa. Well, you are in the midst of the champion. The overall champion. Thank you. <laughs> and all the champions died in the Calamity a hundred years ago. Hmm. Buliara. A memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the Calamity happened, the Princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link. 
though it always seemed more legend than fact. Hmm. What of the device on this one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. Indeed. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter. Can you? Mm. I don't remember of ever hearing ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Oh. Wait a moment. You're a Vo! Yes, but I am a friend, not a foe. <laughs> a Vo within our walls is a great crime, but a Vo who is a champion? Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa. And if you're here to help us with Naboris, then we are allies. Huh? You saw it on your way to our town. Divine beast Va Naboris cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at anyone who dare approach. Hmm. We have to do something to stop it, but we have yet to find any way to appease the divine beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter Naboris and calm its anger. Lady Riju, I don't see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were first to prove his worthy his worth by recovering your stolen thunder helm. Hmm. Ah, yes. An interesting suggestion. <laughs> A brilliant deduction. <laughs> you see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Naboris. And that is the full rubber armor set. <laughs> the thunder helm. A family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But as Buliara says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Speaking of this, other than... Oh, I don't want to have to sneak by the swordsman. Eh. I knew that was going to happen, but I don't want to. Um, the Yiga clan swordsman people. Um... Actually, speaking of electricity, Okay, because there is the, the, the rubber outfit um, that I think will be very useful because we don't get to keep the Thunder Helm when we go into the battle with uh, Vana Boris um, and moreover Thunderblight Ganon and that, that lightning or the, the electricity that it has is wicked. So um, our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch. It will lead you to the barracks. Then seek out Captain Teak and ask for a full report. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. <laughs> ha! You know. I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Urbosa must be looking out for us. That's kind of fun. We're going to save that for a possible thumbnail. Ooh, actually, I can take a picture of you with your claymore and it will count. <laughs> That's part of the fun stuff about filling out the compendium is uh, ending up with, with neatly framed images. And things like, see, we've already got the spears, so that's not going to be one. Do these all have spears, too? Yep. Malena. M Malena? We have something to say. Sabota. Sabota. 
I finally found the vow of my dreams, and I just recently married him. Though I thought I finally found happiness. But then my husband fell ill with a rare disease, one difficult to cure. The only one thing that can save him is the innards of a Mulduga. <sighs> but I would never be able to take down such a creature myself. I asked the soldiers for help, but they said they have serious issues to deal with. They said they have no time for my plight. They turned me away. But then, why wouldn't they? The Mulduga is a menacing beast. None who face one escape unscathed. So perhaps it's foolish to expect anyone to stick their neck out for a stranger. I thought I'd finally gotten out of this town. Never thought I'd have to come crawling back. Uh, Mulduga? The Mulduga is a monster, a terror so savage that even other monsters won't approach it. It's often been spotted west of here, in the Taruma Dunes and in the south. It's very sensitive to vibrations, and it tends to attack anything that draws near. You can't approach it, or even move near it. And you can't use someone as meat. <laughs> so what am I to do? Well, you could use someone as bait. You just probably aren't supposed to. You appear to be... Captain-esque? Teak, there we go. What are you doing in here? This is barracks for the Chief's Guards, not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert after the recent theft, so you should clear out. <laughs> Somebody stole stuff from us. We're just gonna let people walk in and tell them they should leave. <laughs> Instead of booting them out the door. <laughs> what? Buliara sent you? My apologies. I am the officer in charge of the soldiers, Captain Teak. The chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yiga clan the other day, so everyone is on edge. We've determined that the Yiga's hideout is in Carusa Valley, but the soldiers are all exhausted, so I was just thinking about requesting some extra help. Oh. Hey everyone, listen up. This Hylian Vi has agreed to help us, so offer her any information you can. <laughs> <laughs> jokes on you consider yourself a part of our unit if you have any questions my troops will be happy to help yay I, I don't really have questions but we'll talk to him for the flavor text hey I haven't seen Barta where's she gone off to she said she's going to scout the thieves hideout but then she left before we could say anything now that I think about it she's been gone for two days I wonder what happened to her you are you serious why did you let her go by herself? Why did you wait two days to report this? I am I apologize. She said she just wanted to check it out and would be careful, so I thought... Ugh. As if we aren't busy enough searching for the chief's heirloom. Now we have to find Barta, too? If the captain hears about this fiasco, she'll punish us for sure. Probably a hundred laps around Grudo Desert again. Oh. Oh no! What should we do? I'm thinking about it. Uh, I assume you all say. Nope, you don't have to say. I have to go out with a sand seal and search again, but uh, it makes me feel so sick to surf around with one. Barda hasn't returned in many days. Could she have been captured by those thieves? No, the sandstorms out near Carusa Valley have been bad. I'm certain she's gotten herself lost or stranded. I may have made up part of that line there because it uh, switched too quick on me. <laughs> I'm worried for her. Okay. Hi. Pant pant. Bobby's training Bobby's training really tough is really tough, but it's our fault the thieves were successful. We have no room to complain. Hey, if I stand in your way, what happens? You just uh Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> yep. Those thieves sure have guts scheming against us like that. We'd never have lost in a fair fight. But this training, it's so tough. Smod. You must be Bobby. Despite my warnings, you and this Vi here keep wandering into the barracks. Know that the only reason you're not already sliced into pieces is because we are otherwise occupied. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Yeah? Really? Huh. What now? Wow, there's a lot of spears. Bye! <laughs> oh, I thought that was a button. That is not a button. Ooh, 
Savak. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I'm only taking Miss uh, Ashaya's class as a kind of refresher course, but I still have to study. Hello, what do you think of my lipstick? I think it'll bring me some good luck. You know that the color is especially important in bringing good luck, right? The color? How? <laughs> he looks good on you. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I can feel it working already. Mm. I wanna, I wanna know what the uh, what what the color determines <laughs> luck. <laughs> uh, um, I'm planning on learning about that next. I wasn't sleeping. I was just thinking. Wait, what? I thought you were the teacher. Don't scare me like that. Hello. This must be the teacher. <laughs> these are like these are like training dummies. Hello. Sabak. Oh, are you interested in taking my class, Vo and you? I'm Ashai. Ashai? Asha. During the day, I teach a class on the Vo of the world, and at night, I teach cooking classes. Why don't you join us? Okay. Ooh. That is a suspicious little uh, alcove. Yeah, I'd be concerned, too, if somebody uh, walked into my shop and uh, pulled out a, uh, a a shiny blue bomb. Okay. Doesn't fit in the alcove. Okay. Talk to everybody we need there. So I think it's probably time to rent a sand seal. Maybe. Is this the oh this is the inn and spa? And there's a person standing here. Hi. Rima. <laughs> what is it? I feel like I've met you before, but I don't recall having any Hylian acquaintances. Especially since I've ever served in, I've ne I've only ever served in the palace, never even set foot beyond this town walls. I thought I could relax at last now that Bulliara has come of age, but then something like this happens. I'm retired now, so there isn't anything I can do about it. Uh -huh. What happened? A little while ago, a gang of thieves slipped into the palace and stole the chief's heirloom, the Thunder Helm. It's bad enough to be robbed in general, but for the object stolen to be a valued heirloom belonging to our own chief. If I was still in charge, any guard who failed to catch those thieves would be doing some serious manual labor, like running a hundred laps around the Gerudo Desert. And then they'd be thrown back into training all the way from the beginning. No exceptions. Rough day. Ah, it's so cool here. Hello. What's the vibe from out of do town doing in a place like this? What are you doing? Hehehe, <laughs> I'm still keeping a secret from Mama, but I'm growing a fruit garden here. Then I can eat all the fruit I want until my tummy gets filled right up. I haven't figured out what I want to plant yet here. So uh, if I grow a lot, I'll share some of it with you, okay? Okay. Hi. What you doing? Um, I feel like I told you about this already, but... Truth is, I'm growing a secret fruit garden. Don't tell anyone, it's a secret. I haven't even told Mama. I haven't figured out what I want to plant yet, though. If I'm able to grow a lot, I'll share some. Well. I see a suspicious thing. A melon rind in the, in the, 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 the water supply. Hello! <laughs> How did you get up here? I see, so that happened over there. And even that happened there. Huh? Hmm? Hi. <laughs> what? You can't tell just by looking? I'm busy confirming a rumor. 
Right now, the rumor of the Divine Beast is the talk of the town. If I thoroughly investigate the Divine Beast, well, a scoop like this could make me some serious money. That's all I'm saying. Did you learn anything? It looks like the electric current is generated in the two humps on that thing's back. There seems to be an entrance or something under the tail. <laughs> so you could maybe get in that way, but it's super high up. And it shoots lightning at you, so... It definitely wouldn't be easy to just go inside. That's for sure. But if someone entangled its legs and tripped it, that'd work out really well. It's like the, uh... <laughs> like Star Wars trying to knock down the AT-ATs. Wait, I shouldn't be telling you all this. It's my info. You should earn information using your own two feet. I have to sell feet pics in order to get info? What? <laughs> Seal shop. We're gonna climb the wall and climb it super fast. Hey, the bright side on the desert. There's no rain to interfere with our uh, climbing. So I see some hydro melons over here. And that's presumably the source of the garbage. Ah, I found them. Oh, it makes sense that I can't climb up the running water. Hello, you're making a mess. Aww. What's with you? How am I supposed to enjoy eating with you staring at me? Buzz off. You are making a mess. Aww. I mean it. I can't eat with your judgmental eyes on me. Go away. I refuse. Aww. Uh, I can't do that yet. I haven't, I haven't started the quest line. Okay, well, there's bound to be a Korok on top of here, so. There's a nice little pond that goes nowhere. Um, none of this is really very flat. It's going to make climbing difficult. <laughs> Look at the angle on that. I am, like, way obtuse on the, uh, on the climbing angle here. <laughs> wow. I think I'm actually gonna make it. Without using my bonus stamina wheel. Ha! I did, just barely. Okay, now... We need to go up again. This is some wicked cliffside here that we're uh, climbing up. Okay, so if I need an escape route, I can I can drop off onto that platform. But I think we'll be fine. Okay, we're up here. There's the Korok. Thank you, you seedy little monster. Mulduga is over that way. This is north, then it's gotta be probably into the middle of that uh, sand. Off that way is the uh, fairy fountain that we want to get. So... Okay, I guess we're going down to the seal rental. 
and rent us a seal to go to the... Are we going to do the Yiga clan already? I don't know if I'm prepared. Let's see. Let's go to Terrytown first. I think. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go back to Terrytown. And check in on that. There we go. Wow. The fact that this is the closest shrine. Um, we'll check in on Terrytown, see where they're at and how they're doing. That is a large sandy stone seal. Stand, stand stone steel. <laughs> Sand stone seal. So swing back by Terrytown and then... From there, we will probably go back and seal our fate with a trip out to the Yiga clan hideout area. So, Korok there, Terrytown down there. Um, I guess we'll go this way. Actually, yeah, we'll we'll stop here and regen our stamina, and then we should be able to clear that gap. If I press the right button. <laughs> I nearly splattered myself. Mm-hmm. There he is. Hudson. You found someone from the Gerudo. Thank you. She is able to patch every last hole in my work clothes before I could blink. She's pretty. Uh, amazing. <laughs> Since her name is Ronson, I have no objections. I hear she's decided to continue putting her st skills to use by opening up a clothing shop. You should stop by and say hello. <laughs> well, next is... Uh, more wood. <laughs> You bring me 30 bundles of wood. You bring me that. Hey, guess what? I have wood. Sure, you can have them. Would you like them? <laughs> What's next? Finally starting to look like a town around here, which is exactly why they need to set up distribution. I'd like to get a general store up and running, but there's no one with connections and qualifications to run it. Do you think you could keep an eye out for someone who knows about distribution and can run a general store? So, a traveling trader. Oh, that's a good thought. Rito can fly around, so they should be able to retrieve and deliver supplies. Good luck. You'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. <laughs> Their name has to end in sun. If you run into anyone that fits with what I've said, send them to Terrytown. Okay. So that is a guy in the Rito village uh, that we have to deal with. Let's go talk to the nation's only one, only clothing provider. Oh, the uh, Desert Vo stuff. Don't climb up on tables. <laughs> Didn't anyone ever teach you how rude that is? I, I'm so glad that they have different text and stuff for activities you do that I mean it's like there's there's no need to necessarily have that there and yet it's there and it's great uh, Savak oh traditional Gerudo clothing how nostalgic <laughs> please take your time looking this armor was all hand handmade by the way cool pretty neat pretty neat Pretty, pretty neat. So now we're gonna fly. 
Wait a moment. I want to see. Fueling peak stable. Dracozo Lake. Trade Tower. Um, looking thing like Lake Tower. Great Plateau Tower. Feeling Peach Tower. So maybe it's down in here somewhere. Hmm, let me just take a look at this. I was thinking since we're in the area. Coral Lake, east of Farron Tower. Cora Lake, so... Ooh, Lake of the Horse God. This is where we'll go if we have to, uh... We have a horse that uh, kicks the bucket. Go down there and uh, have them patched up. So we'll need to we'll need to come down to this corner and unlock that because that seems to be where things are. But uh, look at this little this little little nugget of a path here. Um, oh wow, there's still a lot of towers up here to unlock. Um, this is the intended path to get up here to the Yiga clan hideout. I think I dropped in from above before. That was always uh, kind of a neat thing. Um, let's see, we're here and it's pretty safe here. I think we'll go ahead and do these, uh, um, amiibo scans. Get them taken care of so uh, I don't forget because there's a real there is and I keep talking about it there's a really nice bow in here that uh, I quite enjoy and if we can get it with the uh, dura up it'll be awesome it's uh, arrows it's it well it's like the bow of light it may be called the bow of light um, and its arrows just fly straight and forever effectively so who wouldn't want a bow like that and then we've got wolf link we can call on for some uh, additional support if necessary um Yeah, let's uh, make this one happen. Boink. Boomerang, attack up 13. Um, we'll probably leave it behind. Because it's just an ordinary boomerang, and we have the Sea Breeze boomerang. So. That one's fine. This should be... Aww. Guardian parts. Yep, no thanks. We have a guardian something already, right? A couple of axes. Meats. We have the meats. Fire arrows. Sweet. Ha! Dropped my uh, controller, but 
managed to catch it. I don't have the wrist straps on, <laughs> but I caught it by the wrist strap as it was falling. Which was kind of ironic, really. Soldier's Claymore, yes. I will take that, if for no other reason than to bunk things with it. Um, I'll go ahead and drop that for now. Hopefully it doesn't despawn. But it might. If it does, I'm not too worried. Because realistically, our Dura on the Golden Claymore, which is a beautiful sword, by the way, um, crazy intense looking sword with the ruby encrusted handle. Yeah, that's super slick. <laughs> so, its Dura is going to drop here before too long, anyway. Just hoping for a special bow. Night shield. 40 Dura up. Eh, probably going to take that instead of the Sheikah one. Oops. Uh, yeah, it looks like... We're going we're gonna to drop the, the Sheikah one. Because I don't, I don't think it has any other significant benefits. None that I'm aware of, at least. Which wouldn't be the first time I was unaware of something. <laughs> Rocks. Ooh, a topaz. It's a pretty good pull. Cobble Crusher. That's a good crushing device. Hmm. I actually swap it for that claymore, I guess. Oh, 41. It's got an attack up. That's why it's so boosted. Yep. Gerudo Scimitar. Nope, Gerudo Shield. 40 with the Dura up. We can replace our... Oh. Was it 30 or was it 20? I don't know. Either either way, we can we can drop this. It was just 20, so it's the same thing. Um, yeah. Zora's Pier. Um, sorry, but I think not. And for anybody that says I'm littering in Terrytown, Dragon Bone Boca Club. It's a Moblin Club, I think, that the kid wanted. Um... I don't actually want to. <laughs> For anyone saying I'm littering in Terrytown, look at all the scrap metal that they'll have. They can go through and process and and make fun stuff out of. You know, I am supplying resources. I'm a responsible resource generator. <laughs> Okay, um, oops, uh, this one. I just want the bow. We've been at this for so many times trying to get the fancy bow. And you know what's going to happen? It's going to be like an attack up. Well, there's a bow. Thanks for, thanks for listening to me. Um, yeah, we'll take it. It's, uh, got a Dura boost. Um... Yeah, what'll happen is we'll end up getting it, and it'll be like an attack up or something, and then it's like, well... It's not actually why I was so excited about the bow, but... 
Bomb arrows. See, they're already getting processed through the uh, scrap metal that we've brought for them. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. See, Golden Claymore's damage. Yes! That may be a dupe. It is not a dupe. Sweet. <laughs> According to legend, this cap was once treasured by an ancient hero. It's quite the simple cap, yet there's something about it that's just so appealing. Well, it looks like a standard fairy tale um, nightgown hat. Hey, I got another horse. Good news, Terrytown. <laughs> you guys are the proud owners of an Epona clone. We'll call her Eclona. There we go. We'll just uh, park her here. Stay. Good Epona. Or Eclona. <laughs> Ice arrows, that's cool. <laughs> yes, I went there. Okie dokie. Please, finally. Falcon bow. Inventory is full. Shocker. Uh, Phrenic bow is too good at distance stuff. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drop the one we have because its dura is decreased slightly and just refresh our dura. Knight shield, Dura up. Well, that means the uh, guardian shield is out. Bye. Yeah. No, not my bonus heart. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Opal. Yay, if you're steady pants. I think that completes the fear steady set. Um uh, yep. Look at that. Look at us go. We got fierce pants. My fierce pants. Wait, now I gotta find my lady's pants I'm supposed to be wearing. Um, here we go. They're purple. I wonder if I can turn the purple ones into a teal to match the top, because... The pants being purple makes me, uh... Uncomfortable. No. Makes, makes me feel like it's it's disconnected. Like it's not... I mean, they're probably complementary colors or something. Somebody that knows more about color matching than I do. Um, it's probably like, no, you can't do teal pants too. And I'm like, but I wanna. I mean, I did I did a brown pants with the, with the tunic here. Because none of the other colors would match. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see if we can uh, change that color to match. 
Okay, um, I think that was this one, but we'll try it again. Make sure. Yep. Yay, mushy. Yep. All right. Oh, that's only three of those that we have now. <laughs> I should be able to put all of them on at the same time and increase my sneaky. It's like, huh, you can't breathe now. Look how sneaky you are. <laughs> Monk. Ooh, a silver rupee. Nice. And my uh, Lionel Sword despawned. Shock arrows. That is shocking. Okay. A couple more. You squished a fish. Fire arrows. And the last one that hopefully doesn't give me another horse. Okay. We got mushies. Soldier's broadsword. Not great, but uh, it's it'll replace the missing uh, Lionel sword. And by replace, I mean fill a spot until I find something that has better damage. There we go. And it's got Dura up, so that's good. So let's go to mm -hmm. Hateno. This this one? No, not that. This button. Down here, over the village, to the left, over right there. <laughs> go to Hateno and see if we can change our pants color. Okay, off we go to the clothing shop to fix my pants. Make my pants not purple. Hi. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to change. Because I honestly, I want. I I don't want to. I I don't want to lose the original pair of pants just feels sacrilegious or something although the white's kind of neat kind of like <laughs> har har he har ha you're not a pigment of my imagination you must be a customer we'll dye your clothes for 20 rupees or if you dye them without paying no wait never mind yes dye please I have whole outfit from head to toe all at once. Uh, choose a color. Ooh, blue. Ooh, red. Yellow is nice. This is probably the blue I need. And that's the purple. I actually can't dye it to the purple of the pants. Hmm. I don't know that that's the same color blue. Ooh, the green looks fun. Because the green kind of matches the green. I like that. Let's go with that color. Okay. Seems, uh... Oh, that's even better. It just, uh... Use the Hyrule Herb. <laughs> Sp 
splash. That's nice. I like it. <laughs> Pretty sure he said you're very chic, but it's uh, funny because it's also spelled like chick and um, dressed like a lady. <laughs> the green's fun. I like the green. Um, yeah, I was going to look at this other one. Yeah, I think I think that blue is is a different color. Actually, here, let's let's try this and this. No, it may be the same blue. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to try it sometime. Get another pair of pants so I can make them the right color, but for now we're going to go with the green because it's nice. I like it. It also matches the hat. <laughs> okay. Now we will go back to Gerudo Town. And go do... Oh wait, is this where the... Oh, that's the second one. Okay. There's one over here in the Toruma Dunes, and then there's one down here at the Southern Oasis. I do remember that now. Because she said to the east, west, and to the south. Must have been to the west. Unless it was to the west and to the Taruma Dunes and to the south. Which it could have been that too. I suppose. We are heat resistant. Oh, it's Kilton. We need to go see him. Let's see if we can get out there without uh, melting. Actually, we're outside of the place. Uh, oh, we're cold. Why are we cold? Okay. If we're cold, that means we don't need the heat resistance. I know why we're cold. Um, because we're in the desert and it gets cold at night. Um, but our sweater should help and Kilton may be confused. Although we match pretty well, even with the green pants. In the dark, if we get in the light, it doesn't match so much. It actually clashes pretty bad. Oh, there's that guy that gives us sand boots. Might be worth talking to him. He gives us snow boots first, and then we go to the snow area, and then come back, and... Yeah. This is a creepy sound. Ack, is it that time already? I need to get the show on the road. Maybe meet again on another monstrous night. What?! How dare you? Fang and bone, only open at night. That was so, so rude. I can't even. <laughs> okay, let's get back over here to the uh, Gerudo town. Uh, at some point I sprinted too far and used half my stamina. That's sad. It's probably out here in the sand because that uh, that sand eats up the eats up the stamina in a hurry. Okay, where well, we're close enough to Gerudo Town, we're not likely to get monstered, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this back on. Don't mind me, I'm just going to change out here in the middle of the desert. <laughs> and I think, hey, that guy that's uh, creeping on the town is gone. 
I mean the upstanding merchant that was researching. You know. That, uh, that particular one. Ah, yeah. Oh, there's a shrine over here. Why not? If we can get over there without getting... Oh, uh, I used up the stamina. Oops. Without getting bamboozled by Naboris. Which also means there's probably going to be monsters over here. In which case, I should put my other face back on. There we go. Sand Seal Rally. Hey, hey, hey. That Sand Seal Race Trophy is obviously only for those who've proven themselves worthy. Cool it with the Gravy Gravy. Uh, how could you... what? How dare you? Tally. Sorry, kid. The great Tally isn't in the mood to give autographs right now. Could you come back later? What happened? Use your eyes. The Divine Beast is stomping around, so obviously we can't use Sand Seal Racecourse. Suppose you can stand around here if you want, but I prefer you did it somewhere else. Sand Seal Racing? So everyone in the world has heard of Sand Seal Racing except you. Have you been sleeping under a rock? Quite literally for the last hundred years. It's a sport where people guide sand seals through arches and race toward the finish line. Racer with the fastest time wins. It's a true Gerudo tradition. Because of that blasted divine beast, we can't run a single race right now. So I'm not going to be able to get that shrine here until I complete the divine beast stuff. Who's Tally? Are you serious right now? You aren't seriously saying you don't recognize Tally, the sand seal racing champion, are you? Stupid Divine Beast is the only thing stopping us from showing you Tally's Sand Seal, sk sand seal skills firsthand. And who are you? Not to toot my own horn, but I'm the one who raised Tally in the Sand Seal Racing into the Sand Seal Racing Champion she is. It wasn't easy, let me tell you. She's always been a bit shy, but her and I have a great relationship now. Isn't that right, Tally? Yes, yes, right. Understood, Tally. Who in the blazing sands does this divine beast think it is? No one upsets the great tally and gets away with it. Ah, <laughs> oh, <I'm> so hopeful. <laughs> That would have been great. Okay, so I don't know if the guy that I was looking for um, is here yet or not. Because I thought there was somebody that runs laps around Gerudo Town. And if I ran around Gerudo Town, Electric Cephalina. If I ran laps around Gerudo Town, then I'd be able to find him. Oh, I was going to feed the dog in Terrytown, and I forgot. Give him a special treat. I can't tell if this is Mulduga Bones. 
Or if that's the great desert leviathan. Okay, we've gone full circle around this uh, place. We're going to go ahead and rent a seal. Hi, I colored my clothes. The storms still rage. Sabota. It's in the northwest gate of Grudo Town. We caution all travelers to avoid the sandstorms. If you're caught in a sandstorm, you'll lose your way. Even us Gerudo have trouble navigating them. The danger of the sandstorms makes the desert the perfect hiding place for thieving bandits and priceless treasures. Carusa Valley? Oh. So you're the Hylian that the captain that Captain Teak was talking about. The thieves' hideout is in Carusa Valley. You can't see Carusa Valley from here, but it's in that direction. Uh, through the draw in the desert. Oh. Carusa Valley runs deep into the highlands. It's longer than you'd expect. If you intend to go, you should take a sand seal. So about that treasure. Having said that, I don't really know the details either. There are statues of swordswomen scattered across the Gerudo Desert. They're remnants of ages long past. Oh. People talk about the statues pointing to the hiding place of ancient treasure, but that's just superstition. Even if it was true, there are dangerous monsters in the sandstorms. I wouldn't risk it. Yay, shrine quest. Okay, yeah, I will need a seal. But, uh... There is the thing I need to do first. I need a cooking pot. This is not a cooking pot location. Hello. Or, I don't feel so good. Okay. Um, that was weird. That was a lizard, I think. Zoom. are not lit and this is the cooking place okay um, this button this button sweet we have fire hearty durian um, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, two, one, two, eight, three, probably. Plus twelve. Cool. We have a couple apples. <laughs> Just a cup. Room. There's not enough of those to do all at once. Yay! And so we probably should do some of this in case we get caught in the in the cold. Hold on to the bananas.
Restore a lot of stamina. Three circles. So I don't need to... <laughs> I can just do one of them. Seems like. And you know, let's add some... Basic... Heart boosting things. It's really bright in Gerudo Town, which I guess makes sense because. It's in the middle of the desert. Okay. Now let's get some... Chillfin Trout. We've only got one of them. Oops. Sizzle fin helps with resistance to cold. Sure, why not? Just do a full stack of them. Wow. That heals and warms. Stealth. Oh, that's a thing. A, a bit of stealth boost for the upcoming thing that we have is probably a good idea. Um, there we go. Silent shroom, silent shroom. There's room for a silent shroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bladed Rhino Beetle. <laughs> and monster parts, monster parts. How about some moblin guts because they're weird and pulsing? <laughs> Sweet. More of a fallback than anything. I can't eat the bugs. Cold. Effects from cold. I've used all of the uh, elixir ingredients to protect from heat. So, anyway, we got we got some things prepped. Um, Fireproof elixirs are good. But we'll try and save them for. Uh, see, we've got a bunch of heat reducing stuff. I think we'll be fine. We are going to load up on some extra hearts once we get there for sure. All right. Let's uh, go rent a seal. Hello. Hey, you're up. Uh, Savota. Mm. Sorry, but can you please keep it down? I've got an awful headache. Mm. Okay. 
That seems like there's a, a story behind that, but uh, I suppose we shall wait. Okay, before we rent a seal, let's make sure we've got a save. Hello. That look. Hmm, you must be the Hylian Frelly was talking about. My name is Comb. I'm Frelly's mother. We run a shop where we rent out sand seals. If you plan on crossing the desert, you'll need a sand seal. It may seem unlikely, but we're actually a thriving business. And it's so easy for a customer to get the hang of it. All you have to do is stand on a shield and let your sand seal pull you along. Of course, our sand seals have been trained. They're much easier to handle than a sand seal you find in the wild. If you're in need, just let me know. Indeed. Let me... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's seal the deal. How do I set seal? <laughs> seal you later. <laughs> what? Is that how young people talk now? <laughs> I wonder if it's just a thing outside Gerudo Town. Anyway, the Gerudo Desert is vast. You'd be wise to take a sand seal if you're traveling beyond town. Okay, you've got to tell me how do I set seal. Once <laughs> you've got a sand seal, all you need to do is guide it in the direction you want to go. And there's the instructions. And the best way to learn is by doing. It's easy. You'll seal. Good luck. Is there something else you need? Yes, let's seal the deal. Great sealing, yeah. <laughs> Some work. Just going to ship me out with a seal. He's kind of a cutie. Hold on, what direction am I going? So it is up into the little chasm-y thing. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, seal. And actually, hold on. Hold your horses or seal devices. Because I am not about to walk into my demise. Um... <laughs> Let's use something that makes my toastiness go down. Just probably one of the ones. Yeah. We have one 12 minute one. Drop it by one, stacked with my pants, should uh, leave me safe. Off we go into Neverland. Run, seal, run! Quiet. Too quiet. Boulders. More boulders. Don't you go hitting my seal. It's a rental. <laughs> this looks like it's probably about as far as the seal goes. Stay here, seal. And that means it probably... 
It looks like it's cooled off here. We can... We don't have any of the sneaky outfit. That's unfortunate. I mean, we have the hat. We're going to go ahead and put this on and this on because it's our best uh, damage resist. Um, I guess we'll switch to the hood. For the sake of protection, although these climbing pants are also an 8, and those boost our climbing speed. I think I like them. I was checking to see what the uh, set bonus was on the rating, because I think this gives you a sneaky bonus, but only if you have uh, your stuff uh, upgraded slightly. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and equip stronger one of these, one of those, and yeah, let's stick with the, eh, this door has already dipped. Stick with that, because that's uh, going to be our best bet. Sweet. Frogs. Because I think at this point, the only significant thing we have to deal with that's not Yiga Clan is uh, wolves, possibly. Because I don't, I don't recall there being any. Uh... Ooh. Duplex bow. Nice catch. Ah, oh, almost had him too. So I do want the duplex bow, I think. Um, yeah, we'll take it over that because it's a multi-shot. And the bananas will be necessary for dealing with the Giga stuff later. Oh, thanks. My arrow back. Should be another... Yiga clan member. <laughs> I want to call him clansman, but that's not that's not the same thing. Uh. Gotcha. There we go. For those of you that don't know, the the clansmen were what they called the members of the Ku Klux Klan, and that was not a not a good group by any means. Um, the frenetic bow is nice, but I'm going to drop it in favor of some more duplex bows. Recollect all my missed arrows. Then we can equip a duplex and go in here with a double shot. Because then I get two two arrows for every.
one. Here's another duplex. And a torch. And a torch. And see the uh Ha! I found it. <laughs> Oops. The only thing is you can't pick up uh, duplex shot arrows. So we'll go ahead and drop all of these banners because some of them have stuff behind them. Most of them have monsters or keys. Yeah, like that one. But if they're just going to stay there, then... Yeah. Thanks for, uh... Just standing still. <laughs> see duplex bows damage, which is fine because we get a fresh one. <laughs> Alright. Oops. There we go. Now let's go pick up everything, pick up the fun stuff. As well as all of the keys parts, which also, I guess, are technically keys droppings. Um... Crunch. 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 Ooh, a sapphire. Oh, wonderful. No keys parts in there. have a picture of these, but uh, I've already got one in the compendium for sure. And I don't want to change it because I like the uh, shiny, glowy Chica one. But for some reason I've been collecting pictures of uh, the different treasure boxes we have. And we'll wait to go up there. So we can get this stuff here. A torch. Actually... Yeah, we'll just use a cobble crusher. A vicious sickle. Do we have a photo of that? We do not. Done and dusted. Okay. Um... All right, now we save here because right up here a little ways, I think, is where we don't get a save anymore. As we... Dun -da -da. We have to be sneaky. I think I can talk to her before I end up causing any problems. Hi. Hey, what are you doing here? This is the hideout of the Yiga thieves who stole the Thunderhelm. If they spot you, they'll call their friends for sure. 
There's no way you can take them all on. If only you had a way of distracting them, but I don't know how. All I ever see all I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't done anything I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this place is dangerous. You should get out of here while you can. I can take care of myself. Um a pot. A pot. A pot. I don't remember. Hmm. How I'm supposed to spring her from that trap? See how the uh, the Yiga symbol is the Shika eye turned upside down? Fascinating. I didn't realize he was a uh, compendium item. Oh, he's an enemy, so I guess that makes sense. I do have to remember. I have to get... Oh, can I get his... Uh, Weapon too? Nope. I have to remember to take a picture of Master Koga when we get there. So, can I save? I can save here. No, I cannot save here. I need to run back down here and save. I believe it's this platform that I can save on. There we go. And the nice thing about this, uh, having the tunic is I can see where the close ones are. Um, when they do their stuff. So this is going to be a long process and I'm not sure if this may be a bad idea but I'm going to Doesn't seem like he cared. Okay. Why haven't you escaped yet? Anyone spots you, they'll call their friends for sure. There's no way you can take them all on. Like I said, this place is dangerous. Well, this is who I was supposed to find, but uh, can't find a way to open the thing. Unless it opens at the after defeating Koga, which could be a possibility. So, he walks around the corner, and, uh, does that, I guess we're gonna go ahead and put on Sheik's mask, because right now, being quiet is more important than defense, because if those, if those guys catch me, they, they fight, and then it's, it's game over. You basically can't do any damage to them. And if they touch you, you're vaporized. just standing there and I don't like that. Okay. Oh, now he decides to move. No worries. We're clear. Okay, now I wait wait for him to go around and then I shoot down the bananas and then the crazy banana fan there will uh, 
go over and get them, but I do want to have stasis on hand because, yeah, I, I can technically stasis them. Found his bananas. <laughs> I believe I can run across here without any issue. I can climb this ladder, and this gets me up onto a kind of secondary platform with lots of bananas, so I can. Distract with bananas. And then on the way back through, we'll collect up the uh, chests and everything. Because we have to walk back through, I believe, after we get the Thunder Helm. Bananas. You know, anybody that's... Ooh, Topaz, nice. Anybody that's ever purchased bananas knows that storing them all piled up over here, they're not going to last very long. Bananas go bad quickly. Wait, what does the... This thing tell me? You've arrived at the Thieves' Hideout. You can sense many people waiting within. You would be at a disadvantage if a fight were to break out. Sneak into the hideout and recover the Gerudo Chief's heirloom. Okie dokie. Okay, 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 okay. How did I do things? Like this, perhaps. Yeah, this will get me onto that kind of awning thing. There's a banana here. And I've got my climbing pants on, so I climb better than normal. Um, we're gonna go up here onto this roof so I can restore my stamina. That was a weird little thing. This is a better place to be anyway. So, I'm gonna fly into here. Grab the box. Money! Look at all the, the gemstones and stuff. We will definitely get them on our way back through, because once, once we defeat Koga, these guys are all gone. I believe all we have to do for this feller here... Oh wait, is this... Does this ladder go down behind him? It sure looks like it might. Does not. There are spiky things here. Okay. That's, uh, we'll have to look into that later when we're not at risk of getting turned into a smoothie. <laughs> So this feller, we just have to distract with a banana.
Good thing we have a couple of them. Good. Bro. Okay. Okay, this is a good place. Good place to be. I still don't think we can save. Nope, okay. Um, they won't come back in here. Treasure t chest in the ground. Of course we gotta take a picture of it. So, new vote and do Eve words. <laughs> new duplex bow. I guess we'll go ahead and drop and swap. Okay. And this here is a what? A mighty banana. That seems like a good thing to have. Up. boxes out and then we'll open the door. Yep. Yep. Just through that uh, topaz. Nice. Lots of those topaz. Which will be really good because we can either sell them or we can keep them to do our stuff. Um... See, it's like metal reinforced, and that's why we could grab onto it. It's pretty neat. Oops. I don't know that this is going to stay out there, but if it does, it could definitely be useful. Now, gotta remember to take a picture. Of Master Koga. <laughs> My outfit looks so strange. Also, I should have switched to the other thing. That's a big hole. Hey. Pop. <laughs> Who the heck are you, and what are you doing in my napping spot? Wait a minute. <laughs> that thing on your hip, is that... Could it be a Sheikah Slate? Now, if you turn it upside down, there, then it's a Yiga Slate. If that's a Sheikah Slate, then that means... Uh, yeah, it's, it's you! You're that Link guy I've been looking for. What luck! My scouts are out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout. Yes, we just wandered into your hideout. No ulterior motive, no nothing. Oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself yet. I am the leader of the Yiga clan. The strong. The burly. The one. The only. Master Koga! Now prepare yourself. Okay, I will prepare. Just hold on a second. Uh, let's go ahead and put on uh, this hat. Because stealth is not necessary any longer. We have eight pants on, so that's fine. And we have the eight shirt, which is fine also. And that's... You know, just for the sake of it, I don't... I hope it's not necessary. But... Let's go ahead and... 
ramp up our available health. And we're also gonna do a thing. Leave 50. We'll try and switch to the edge of duality. Um, but we'll stick with the, the one-handed. The other thing we're going to do is Forest Dwellers attack up and Bomb Arrow. Although maybe we should Electric Arrow first and then we'll Bomb Arrow. So, and then we need a photo. Hello, sir. Ah, eh, that's a terrible photo. There we go. That looks kind of nice. That hurts. Drop it on your head. Okay, this is where we need to switch to the edge of duality. Aww. Oh, he's different stage, maybe? Nope. I guess it doesn't matter how many times we hit him. He's kind of a grumpy bumpkin. Oh, no. Your shiny thing. Whatever will we do? Did that hurt? It doesn't seem to be doing anything different, so there's no sense in me wasting the other arrows on it. This is probably what I'm supposed to be doing. Sure would be unfortunate if somebody, I don't know. There we go. New stage. That's a big spiky uh, Yiga ball. It's just so far away. Well, that's kind of neat. <laughs> I like that one better. Hmm. Eh. That's not going to take all my hearts, is it? <laughs> Who would have thought I'd be done in like this and by this guy of all people? You think I'm just going to let this stand, do you? <laughs> I almost lost my temper there. 
Arg, what a pain. I can't go out this way. What to do, what to do. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I need to bust out my serious moves, a secret technique taught by my father's mother's father. It will destroy you. This is the end. That looks like the same thing you were just doing. Bonk. Ha 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 ha. Uh, oh, maybe it's just a tad too big. Are you still over there? Well, no matter. Pretty soon you'll be gone. And not just from my line of sight. Only the leader of the Yiga clan can use this secret technique. It is the ultimate... <laughs> the ultimate mistake is what it is. Coward! I shall be remembered! <laughs> the Yiga clan will track you to the ends of Hyrule! Ooh. Crunchy. Okay, so that happened. Um, I don't think this box is any different, but uh, it's in kind of a unique location. That we won't be able to take a picture of a treasure box in again. Mm, tempting, but I still like the old picture better. Um, I think, do I get a... I'm pretty sure I have to walk out of here. I better have to walk out of here. I, I guess I can... Can I save it? Oh, I can. So, yeah, I probably have to walk out of here. But see, we save it here, and we put our Gerudo stuff back on, just in case it's going to... Um, basically fast travel us out. I don't think it should, but I'm gonna be honest. Soldier's bond sword's not very good. Open the box. Recover the Thunder Helm. Precious Gerudo heirloom reclaimed from the Yiga. It has the power to withstand the Boris's lightning. Guard it with your life until you can return it to Riju. Sweet. We do get a walk back. Alright. Now, door's over here. Is there anything else I should be interested in? Out here. Doesn't appear to be, but I do want to look down in the, uh, in the pit. Oh! The, 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 the giant spiky ball must have fallen all the way through. Because it doesn't look like it's down at the bottom blocking the the gap and I'm not close enough to look down with that and I don't want to get any closer because I don't like falling off of things so I think we need magnesis and we're set there we're set there this stuff is good so yeah we need to collect up all of this stuff on the way out because there should be no more Yiga in here. Magnesis to check if there is buried um, treasure. And then, stasis, to make sure I don't miss any trader. These were pretty obvious. Where is that claymore? That one. Boom. Apple. It's almost not worth breaking. I am 
all over the place. Oh, there's a barrel I can hide in. Yeah. Slurp. <laughs> if you want to do it this way. Yay. Well, I wanted to ride on top of it. So sad. I got the thing on top of there already, so I'm not worried about any of those. The bananas can stay. I don't need 83,000 tons of bananas. There's a box and my arrow that I threw. Sapphire, nice. <laughs> it's all the Sheikah statues, but they've they've put the mask over them to repurpose them as Yiga statues. Okay. All right, so we're clear here, so I guess we'll go up and talk to... Oh, she got out. Good. We were concerned about that. So, um, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, we'll continue the stream, but for those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedlyrandom. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. So jump on over there and give us a follow so we can send you notification when we go live. And uh, hop over to our Facebook and Instagram pages and follow us over there so we can keep you updated on any changes that occur pertaining to the streaming schedule. Uh, we also have a TikTok and a Twitter if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us. That would be wonderful. And I do want to remind you that uh, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you like and subscribe there on YouTube. It uh, lets us know that you're having a good time and... Uh, helps the YouTube to provide more similar content that you might also enjoy. On that note, I do want to remind everybody that if it is May 12th or later, we are streaming the sequel to Breath of the Wild, uh, Le The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, over there on Twitch. And, of course, the VODs will be posted to YouTube as well. But if you want to catch it live, we will be there on release day, May 12th. Uh, the time has not been set yet. Basically, it's as soon as UPS drops off the game, um, and then periodically after that, we'll be we'll be playing through that as well, which is going to be super cool because it's going to be a first time playthrough, um, rather than like this is my second time playing through Breath of the Wild, so that's going to be tons of fun. Make sure you're there so you don't miss it, and uh, otherwise, we will catch you in the next one. Until then, stay random.